Roman Reigns, at a house show this weekend, made an odd comment about how uh, this might be it for him. Might not well, it's, not, it's, 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 not, it's not it for him, but um, the situation is just that he's uh, he got a new deal, and the new deal is for far less dates. So he's not going to be doing, I don't know how many house shows he's going to be doing, but it will be much less than the number that he's doing now. So um, it's one of the perks of, uh, you know, being there for a while and being valuable there is you can kind of call certain shots and he's got the power to maintain the championship and work fewer dates like Lesnar had and Hulk Hogan used to have. Um, so he's going to be a new phase in his life. You know, he's got young kids and everything like that and, you know, um, late 30, mid to late 30s, and uh, probably wants to preserve his body a little bit more. Although, you know, it's funny because uh, I've talked to wrestlers. In fact, uh, the Young Bucks have said it on our show that it seems like when you work fewer dates, it's actually harder on your body. Um, and I know that, like, people who don't work at all, you you know, and then go back and work, they kind of have to re whatever you know what i mean it's like um the body i don't know if it what the whole deal i mean it gets used to taking bumps i guess the same way that you know it gets used to when you're in the groove of any kind of sport and um like wrestling just an example if you you know you rest your body more you know in amateur wrestling by not wrestling but if you like you know are always on the grind and always beating yourself up and everything like that um it's you know you get you adapt to it and if you're one of those guys who just uh you know uh isn't constantly training wrestling then you know do stop and start you know it's it's pretty difficult well i mean he'll be actually he's not even working television every week i mean how many matches he, he doesn't he work on television he actually, he actually doesn't work a lot of television matches but he does no, work to, he's he has, there but he's not doing a lot of matches very few very few he's he's um he is working uh, twenty-minute um, house show matches, though, with Drew McIntyre. You know, on you know almost all the time. I mean, it was, it was interesting that last week when they went to the UK, that they only brought him in for London and Paris. You know, usually, um, and you know, he's done that before. Um, he didn't even go on the prior UK tour, you know, because he didn't want to be away from his family, I guess, that long. You know, it was one of those things where he'll go for a day or two, but he's not going to go for two weeks. Um, you know, and more power to you if you've got the power to leverage that and still make big money. Um, you know, that's, you know, that's, that's a good deal. We also had the pay-per-view match with Charlotte and Ronda Rousey and Ronda put on an arm bar and a chair at the end of the match and Charlotte gave up and they did a storyline, uh, later on in the show that she had broken her radius and would be out of action for a while. So uh, I presume this is an angle to write her off to go get married. That is, in fact, the case. It's yep. the angle to write her off to get married. So, yeah, yeah. So she did an interview talking about how they were going to get married, quote, this summer. So I don't know what that means. I mean, technically, summer does not start until the end of June. But uh, is she going to be out of action, like, for months now? Well, if you do a broken arm injury, you're going to have to be out of action for at least a you know a couple of months or else it's kind of like it's kind of like a stupid injury to do you know because it would be so fake if you say you broke your arm and then you're back in like four weeks so so yeah yeah i mean i don't know how long but whenever she's although they you know. have done that who was it that just there was a there was a very recent storyline injury that would have been like a pretty serious injury and then they were back like two weeks later who was that uh, do you remember this one? There's so many, you know, worked injuries that they do. And I mean, sometimes like they'll they'll do. I remember with Braun Strowman once when he was injured and they said he was going to be out for like six months. And then I was told, hey, it's going to be like eight weeks, which I, mean, I think it ended up being like 12 weeks or something like that. It ended up being a little bit longer than it was supposed to be because he actually missed a pay-per-view that he was earmarked to headline because he wasn't back. It wasn't, I think it might have been one of his elbow injuries or something, but um I mean, they, they, they wanted, in his case, to make it seem like it was a more serious injury so that when he came back early, it's like he's Superman. But, um, yeah, sometimes I, I sometimes they kind of do that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know exactly how long she's going to be out, but it's wedding and honeymoon and, and all that. So, yeah. 
Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.